Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I am going to be taste testing a noodle brand which was really difficult to find here in Pakistan but I've managed to get my hands on these noodles. So today we're going to be taste testing three types of this noodle brand. So here are the noodles. We have the curry flavor, vegetable flavor and chicken flavor. Now for all of these noodles, these are two minute noodles. You can see the instructions on how to cook them and this is a new flavor. I was not able to find this flavor. Let's do chicken flavor first. So here is the noodle cake for the Maggie noodles. So the ingredients are wheat flour, non-hydrogenated vegetable oil, palm oil, salt, flavor enhancer, potassium chloride, thickener is guar gum, flour treatment agents, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, sodium tripolyphosphate. This is the seasoning packet for the chicken flavor. So these are the seasoning ingredients. We have salt, sugar, flavor enhancers, MSG, cornstarch, natural identical flavors, vegetable, chicken, chicken meat powder, dried vegetable, leek, onion, garlic, celery, soy sauce powder, non-hydrogenated vegetable oil, palm, chicken fat, corn seasoning, cornstarch, salt, and turmeric. Here is the vegetable flavor. It is halal, it's mentioned here. So this is the seasoning for the vegetable flavor. So this seasoning contains salt, maltodextrin, flavor enhancers, MSG, disodium inosinate, disodium guanylate, natural dried vegetables, garlic, onion, leek, parsley, nature identical vegetable flavor, sugar, non-hydrogenated vegetable fat, palm, Spices, starch, wheat flour, citric acid. Now for the curry flavor. So this is the seasoning packet for the curry flavor. It smells kind of spicy, but not too spicy. Seasoning ingredients, salt, flavor enhancer, MSG, disodium, inosinate, disodium, guanylate, spices, chili pepper, coriander, cumin, star anise, turmeric, fenugreek, ginger, clove, nutmeg, cardamom, paprika, non-hydrogenated vegetable oil, palm, Tapioca starch, wheat flour, sugar, dried vegetables, onion, garlic, yeast extract, maltodextrin, natural identical flavors, vegetable capsicum, acidity regulator, citric acid, caramel color, anti-caking agent, silicon dioxide, thickener is guar gum. Now we've seen all of these in great detail, let's get to the kitchen and cook these up. Follow me! Okay everyone, so here we are in the kitchen, all the flavors of the Maggie. That's the water that I'm going to be using. This is 900 ml of water in total for these three packets. We have a pot and then we're going to be making our toppings. And on this side, I have all the toppings I will be using. You can use your favorite vegetables. I have some butter, mushrooms, capsicum, bell pepper, sweet corn, carrot, peas already cooked, spring onions, egg, chili flakes so let's make our toppings first now there's already some ghee in this because i feel like the butter will burn if i put the butter so there's a bit of ghee and then we're gonna finish it off with the butter i have made egg in this already so those are the egg pieces don't put this on high flame just high flame and then kind of like lower it so just add all your veggies carrot first capsicum corn mushroom Let this brown a little and then we're going to be adding our other stuff. So while that's browning, let's make our noodles. I'm going to add 900 ml of water, bottled water. Let this come to a boil and then we're going to add our noodles. And here the water is coming to a boil for two minutes. We have to cook these. 
See you in two minutes. Just separate the noodles. Make sure they're detangled. Just separate them. They will cook evenly. I added a pinch of salt, but you can also add salted butter. It would also help with the seasoning. Let's make some space in the middle. Now I'm going to add my butter. To that, I'm going to add the chili flakes. Add in the spring onions and peas. Let that cook in low heat. Okay, two minutes are up. And there's my draining station for the noodles. That's it. So I have reserved some noodle water. This is a vegetable. Curry. And chicken. So they're all mixed. The chicken flavor will have the egg on top. So let's add our noodles and our toppings. Okay, let's give them all toppings. Mmm, that looks so good. Smells great. Then for the chicken one, I'm going to add the egg. So here it is, all ready. We have the vegetable flavor, curry flavor, and chicken flavor. Let's taste test. This is the chicken one. Yeah. It has egg. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So wrap up of the chicken Maggie noodles. These are a great way to have a full meal. Full of flavor, these instant noodles are great as a fun and tasty snack or a quick and easy meal. Enjoy the chicken flavored noodles with or without broth as desired. For a delicious and balanced meal, simply add in meaty protein. I did not have any of those. I just added an egg and plenty of vegetables to the noodles. Yummy. Okay, next, next I have the curry flavor. I'm expecting this to be spicy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. That is spicy. very tasty. I'm getting like lemon and um, chili. That is really good. Wrap up of curry Maggie noodles. Don't know what to eat? Don't worry about that. Cook yourself a delicious bowl of Maggie two minute noodles curry flavor. The taste maker has a great blend of spices coupled with springy chewy noodles that promises satisfaction with every slurp. Throw in your favorite fresh sauteed toppings for a richer taste and a balanced meal. And our last one, we have our vegetable one. I put all the vegetables, the toppings in this. I really, really, really liked the chicken and the curry flavor. The vegetable is kind of feeling bland next to those two flavors, but it's still very good. And look at the Maggie noodles. They're not mushy at all. They hold their shape. 
really good. Wrap up off the vegetable Maggie noodles. The unbeatable taste and goodness of vegetables in this Maggie noodles and the crunch of slightly sauteed vegetables in ghee and butter makes this recipe a delight for your taste buds. If someone does not like eating vegetables, just get a hold of this recipe and give it your all. Don't be surprised if they ask for more. My favorite one is... I have to choose, I have to choose one. If I have to choose one, then it's the curry flavor. It is the best flavor, like really, it's really good. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah is bye. Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.